My highlights would be being the level one fishing coach and then finding out afterwards that I'm the only female fishing coach in the district and Anglers Association. It helped me get lots of young girls into fishing. Uh, it used to be mainly boys on the fishing trips and now it's like half and half. Looking back like six months and the things that I'm doing now compared to the things that I was doing six months ago is just crazy. Really looking forward to hopefully starting 10 to 15 music sessions and from the music sessions I can find out what kids would, are really interested to do in music but can't necessarily afford to do it. Those are highlights. Like meeting really inspirational people like some of the um, refugee clients that we work with have amazing stories and it's really great to see like the impacts of what you do. When you do, it really shows that the work you're doing is worth it. That I am doing Farsi as part of the Rank Foundation grant that they've given me. And that's on top of my normal work, so it is a little bit difficult. Still, it's really a great experience. Yeah, I'm looking forward to, to what my future holds after having worked in this position for a year. So whether that be in the same organisation that I'm working with, I'd love to be able to stay in. Like looking six months before or a year ago, I wouldn't have thought that I'd be in this position. So to be past that, it opened up a lot of opportunities for the future. Well, I have been at this organisation for 15 years. Being a participant, then to a volunteer, then working as a staff member. The challenges that I've had have been trying to organise people to attend this fundraiser and also try to take lead in stuff. So it's my first time taking lead in what I do, so it was hard to try and get them participating in it and then working at it and then taking the lead in. My biggest highlights have been doing my PD in your foot, being first aid qualified. Over the next six months I have put in for training, so I'm going to be learning the Makaton. It's a sign language. I'm also going to be doing another few fundraisers to try and raise more money for my organisation. My highlights at the Carer Centre have been working with young children and seeing what impact not necessarily just my work, everybody else's work has on them. And when they come into a youth session at the end of the day, and you can see they're looking really down and out about things. At the end of the session, they always leave that feeling really happy. Another highlight is doing my level three social work. Some issues in college, um, I thought I'd never get on to doing my level three. At the start of my program, it was I wasn't very confident um, because you're in a room with professionals that have been doing it for years. I found that actually getting involved with different teams and actually speaking to each member in the team that I work with managed to get my confidence up to a level it's never been before. Going into the schools on a weekly basis it's um, helped build the relationships with the kids and the teachers and it's helping them to bring the foundation in and getting them on board with more projects. Just looking forward to just developing the project more and hoping to get into more schools and doing other projects as well. In the role there, we've set up a men's walking rugby team, which for me has been absolutely phenomenal. We run out the upper arm there in an indoor facility where we do like a real basic rugby sessions. But for me, the biggest thing is after training, they all sit in the cafe and have coffee with each other. So I've talked to some of the gentlemen and they've said that's what they've missed. They haven't missed so much playing the rugby social aspect. The biggest challenge I've come up with is definitely balancing my work. So someone comes to me and I'm like, yeah, I'll do it, yeah, I'll do it, yeah, I'll do it. And all of a sudden then I've got 10 projects running, one person running them and everyone's expecting it to be done. So probably for the first time in my life, I've really learned to say no, I'm like, just not yet. I'm really looking forward to completing my learning through the Rank University. So I'm on the uh, steps now to becoming a professional, qualified personal trainer. My highlight um, is being part of the Respect Project and the Respect Project is um, where uh, young people that might be having difficulties at school we take them away on a residential and that was when I began to get involved with this group. We went to the Lake District and it was just a massive highlight. We ended up climbing four mountains in two days. Over the next six months I am looking to um, talk to Essex Boys and Girls Clubs um, about maybe having a future with them, um, yeah. involved in youth work. I mean, I really do, um, I do really enjoy working with young people and it was, um, and I mean, the past six months has been a brilliant, a brilliant opportunity for me. I use some of the training money that I've been given to do a level two counselling course. So um, it's basically given me really good listening skills and how to 
talk to people and I also have done some mental health first aid training and all this other kind of training that I've accessed through where I work and I feel like it's people sort of come together and it's really beneficial when working with young people. I found it challenging starting a new job and meeting a load of new people and trying to settle into an environment where everyone's already got relationships, some for 10 plus years. So as a shy, naturally shy person, going into that was quite intimidating, but now I feel really at home there and look forward to going every week. I'm looking forward to looking back on all the work I've done and all the training I've done and being proud of myself. I'm one of the pilots have been um, doing a charity event and that was about a ball tournament. So it's walking for ball who is 250 quid for his wife. So we did, and it was just there uh, basically, I was sort of sort of co-organising the event. So it was quite a step up for me because I hadn't done anything like that before. Mm -hmm. My plans for the future are finish my year with the company BCSD that I'm working with and uh, save up money for uh, the next couple of months I'm working with them and go to Australia. One of my highlights over the last year has been um, working with the Working Out group which is um, an LGBT youth group that we work with every week and it's one of the, the chances that we get in, in work to like really like build a relationship with the young people and get to know them. It's really, really rewarding to see like the, the impact that your work is making as a gay person myself, knowing that like kind of where they might have come from, um, like the experiences that they're going through, like it's really, really hard coming out as a young person. The last year I've been studying a youth work diploma level three, um, which I've really, really been enjoying. Oh, that's just always in Mansion House with the Lord Mayor. It's just amazing because our charity is one of the three Lord Mayor's charities in the year, so that means we get to go to all their fancy events. And my biggest challenge is doing my level three because I didn't get many GCSEs in school and I feel like just struggling like, with my dyslexia and stuff like that. Being able to do my level three has actually proven to me that I can actually write. I mean, I've learned how to read a bit better as well. So at the end of the six months, I've just been given a full-time job in one of the youth centres we're opening. So I am like over the moon. So my top highlights so far would probably be that I run two um, youth groups every Tuesday. They're both leadership programmes, but in different aspects. But actually sometimes being a good leader is all about raising other good leaders as well. So in order to be that, I have to delegate tasks and I have to delegate responsibility. Um, because there's no point in having volunteers under your wing if they're not growing as well. 